Tomorrow is Equal Pay Day, a day created by the National Committee on Pay Equity to highlight the gap between women's and men's wages. The U.S. Census Bureau reporting women earn just 83 cents on the dollar compared to their male counterparts. LaSalle Network CEO Tom Gimbel is here joining us right now. Tom, thanks for joining us. First of all, happy Monday to you. Good to be with you. Yep. In 2022, why are we still talking about this wage gap? I have no idea. And the real question is, why is it a day and why isn't it a year, right? I mean, we're going to have a, a, an equality pay day. It should be equality pay year. It's always. And I think that there's a problem here. I, I, to be honest with you, though, Micah, I'm not sure where, where the issue is. I'm in the recruiting business. We work with thousands of companies. We get offers for women as much, if not more, than men. And I've never seen it come up. I've never seen an offer come in lower for, for a woman. I think there may be some issues of when women re-enter the workforce, if they're doing child rearing for, for five, six, 10 years, and they re-enter, their skills are behind of, of male counterparts if they didn't stay home to raise the kids, which I think is still, you know, sometimes we were in a, I was in a group the other day and people were saying, when, women and men, that maybe the equality problem is at home just as bad as it is in the workplace, meaning that how come during COVID more women stayed home to be the primary caretaker for the men, for the babies and the kids than the men did? Well, that's on and them. And why is it driving that, that's it on that them. way? That's, that's I, on I them. I think there's an ass. I, listen, I'm not, I, I have my company 70% women. My executive team is 70% women. Do they get paid uh, so the same I, as the men? A lot of them make more. Right? Okay. So this is this I can't, is you can't me, prove that, of course, but okay, I'll take your word for it. Well, you know what? What can we prove in this world, right? I can't prove that I love my children either, but I do, and I think that the issue that we have here is why do women leave women-led companies to go work at companies that are led by men? They're probably not it's, getting it's enough not, money. Well, but from women-led companies too, and I think there's a situation that it's it's men that are being the oppressors, and I don't think that's it at all. I think there's a challenge that we're all facing here that people want to go up and move up in their careers. And I think that there's still women are very honest and very nurturing. And I think that's a positive. I think sometimes in the workforce, they they tell their employers that they're, they're they may leave when they have a family and come back. And that may be part of the problem. I don't have any evidence of this. I haven't seen it in my own company, but it's the only solution I can come up with because otherwise business people are just plain stupid if you're not paying people who are just as good, if not better, the same amount of money. I think each situation is different as far as women leaving to take care of the family. But, you know, it's worse for women of color. You know that? Well, it is, and it's worse for men of color versus white men as well. So it's it's bad for, for people of color, period. And I think what we've got to do is focus on the same challenges that we've been talking about for years and decades, and that is how do we get more educated people of minorities in the workforce, number one. Number two, very how do we easily, take care very of easily, Very easily, very easily, very easily. You have to find them. They're out there. Absolutely. And then we have to get daycare arrangements. And now we're coming off of COVID. And I think there's just a lot of problems where if you if you I think candidly, there's a lot of women that put their husband's career or their partner's career ahead of their own. Now, not all the time. And I'm not saying I agree with that. I'm just telling you that we've got to be able to talk openly about what goes on in the home as much as we talk about openly what goes on in the workforce. And again, I have a company that's 70 percent female. My executive team is female, and we promote from within more than any company probably in the city, if not in the country. And I don't see that problem. However, it's a problem. Bureau... What's that? It, it is a problem. Maybe not at your company, but it is a problem. A woman needs to work until she's 72 to make what a man has made at age 60. And we got to go. If... Well, I agree with you 100 percent. But let me ask you a question. A lot of these statistics come from the BLS, the Bureau of Labor Statistics, correct? I, I, I believe they do, but a lot of these statistics come from people I know. No. Well, they don't know that they make 83 cents on the dollar, Mike. I'm all for Well, not the 83 up, cents, no, but they there. know that they make less than a man. Well, I, may, maybe they do, maybe they don't. Can we talk more next Monday? I hope so. Okay, Will you invite you. me back? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm, they do, I'm maybe the they side don't. Of the woman. I'm on the side <laughs> okay. of the woman. Thank you, Tom. Tom Gimbel, LaSalle you, Network CEO. Thanks again.